Hi, I'm Mackenzie Warden and I'm from Boulder, Colorado. I'm currently a rising 2L at the University of Colorado Law School and previously I've studied watershed science which included water quality. So currently we're at Shadow Mountain Lake which um, is part of the Colorado Big Thompson Project which provides drinking water to the Colorado Front Range. This is also a few miles from the headwaters of the Colorado River which provides water to seven states. And so once this water is drank, it is excreted and goes to a wastewater treatment plant where it's treated and is released back into the streams as wastewater effluent. So if you happen to take antidepressants, when you take antidepressants, not all of the antidepressant is consumed and some of it is excreted in the form of urine and also ends up at that wastewater treatment plant and then gets released back into the stream as wastewater effluent. So my pitch project is that um, legislation is proposed at either the city, county, or state level in Colorado to test for and eventually regulate antidepressants in wastewater effluent. Antidepressants have um, some effects on fish. It can decrease aggressive behavior, which um, prevents the fish from defending their territories. It also decreases their ability to hunt and capture prey which obviously does um, decrease their ability to survive if they don't have food. And it also just overall decreases their anxiety and fear response, just like it would in humans, which prevents fish from escaping dangerous situations. And it also has some effects on the surrounding ecosystems. For instance, it's been found that antidepressants can decrease um, algal colonization on rocks, and also it's found in um, insects in and around streams. So it has effects in um, ecosystems all the way from the bottom of algae all the way up to fish and possibly even birds since birds eat fish and insects. So in terms of antidepressant use in humans, um, in 2018, the CDC um, researched and found that 13.2% of adults in the U.S. Are, an, are on antidepressants. And it was found that at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, that number increased by 21%. And as the concentration, or as people take more antidepressants, the concentration in the water also increases. So to check on water quality and hopefully preserve it, um, I would propose legislation at either the city, county, or state level in Colorado to test for and eventually regulate um, antidepressants and wastewater effluent. At minimum, the testing would allow scientists to have data that they can then research the effects on ecosystems and fish with. Um, this is perfect for Colorado because Colorado is a headwater state, so whatever Colorado does, it impacts water quality downstream. I mean, just the Colorado River, it affects seven states' water supplies. So ideally, what we do here will have impacts downstream. Also, we're a home rule state, which means that if cities or counties adopt home rule, they have greater um, ability to regulate without state influence. Counties are a little bit more limited, but cities definitely have the power to regulate antidepressants in water. So. If we propose this legislation, it would help preserve ecosystems like this and all over Colorado and hopefully eventually across the U.S. Thank you for your time.